It's like a bad movie, friends, turning into a potential horror flick. The uh, World Health Organization wants to rule by medical crises one after another. In this story, Republican senators are pushing back against an accord giving World Health Organization power over U.S. pandemic response. Yes, so member states of the World Health Organization, they are gathering in Switzerland next week, and they're going to be negotiating the terms of an accord that will give the World Health Organization authority over the U.S. policy in case of a pandemic. Republican senators, they are pushing back. They're trying to reinforce congressional power to authorize treaties. This is not small news at all. This draft accord will be legally binding on all of its 194 member nations, and it would give the World Health Organization authority to declare pandemics and submit member countries to the central role of the World Health Organization as the directing and coordinating authority on international health work. So friends, what type of authority are they talking about here? They're talking about lockdowns, uh, treatments, medical treatments, medical supply chains, surveillance, uh, dealing with disinformation and false news. Of course, that's only if they declare a pandemic and we know that they will. Now, under the word treatments, it could specify uh, particular antiviral medications, uh, mandated messenger RNA drugs, whatever drugs that these scientists want to use in their decision tree of orders for their patients. So 17 U.S. senators, they want due process first. They have introduced a bill called the, and this is a long bill, no WHO Pandemic Preparedness Treaty Without Senate Approval Act. And that was on February 15th. And it states that the pandemic accord must be deemed a treaty, thus requiring the supermajority of the Senate. Now that's two thirds of the Senate or a total of 67 senators approval. This is very big news, friends. The legislation comes as the World Health Organization. It gears up to present what it calls the zero draft of the accord negotiated with the help of the U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary to all member nations on February 27th. That's just next week, and they're going to agree on the final terms. Now, some doubt this bill, even if approved, it would uh, stop the World Health Organization Accord from going into effect once Biden, President Biden, signs it. But friends, you can bet President Biden will provisionally sign it in favor of the World Health Organization. He has to do what his handlers tell him to do. Now, the United States is the largest contributor of the World Health Organization's $6.7 billion budget. Now, guess who is the second largest contributor? You got it, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And guess who's the third largest contributor? The owners of those balloons that flew over our nation just two weeks ago. Yep, so the Biden administration, they can indicate that it is provisionally bringing this treaty into force upon the mere signature of the treaty. Now, it will come into force here in the USA provisionally until the Senate decides whether or not it is going to give its advice and consent to the treaty. So this is gonna be a method of the beast rising to power, medical anarchy, no rights, lockdowns, uh, hell on earth, forced vaccination. So I just say, come Lord Jesus, come and may the Lord have mercy on us all. Let's not be afraid, but friends, let's be aware of what is going on. And as I always say on here, 
Take the time that you need with your loved ones. Be intentional with your relationships. Store up treasures in heaven. Today is the day of salvation. Now, waves of medical situations are around the corner. Marburg virus, Ebola, the plague, whatever the New World Order labs have been cooking up. So let's continue to pray, prepare our hearts for the coming of the Lord. He wants his people to be informed of what's going on. So that's why I'm bringing this news forward tonight. I pray that you all have a very blessed night. I'll talk to you again real soon. Good night.